let's say that um, you have now gone and done the signing. Um, afterwards, you can come back and add a signing status to the order to indicate to the company whether or not the signing was successful. Uh, if it was, just put in um, a little blurb about sort of how it went. Um, if you have any shipping information to share with them, you can also add that in as well down here. And if the signing didn't sign, um, just click on did not sign and there will be a couple of um, reasons that you can sort of select from, but if the reason uh, that the file didn't sign isn't there, you can always click on other and then just add in additional details. So for now, we're going to say that this signing was successful. Um, we're just going to say um, the signing went smoothly. Bar had no questions. Um, and let's just say that we have shipping information um, that we shipped back the documents. Um, just a simple tracking number. And I just want to bring your attention down here to uh, this line that says demo company will automatically be invoiced. So companies are automatically invoiced um, for all of these orders. So you don't necessarily have to manually send them an invoice. Um, and the idea here is that we want to take as much of the sort of manual day-to-day um, -day work out, out of um, your workflow so that you have more time and energy to spend um, on things like growing your business um, or gaining new clients. But so we're going to save this signing status. Um, and so that goes straight to the company to let them know that the signing uh, was successfully completed. Uh, and if you ever sort of make a mistake, you can also double click on the signing status right there and just uh, make any adjustments as needed. And you can do so as long as the company hasn't closed the order. Um, if the company has closed the order, uh, unfortunately, that means that uh, sort of no further adjustments can be made to the signing status. Um, but you can also just always contact the company uh, to have them reopen the order if needed.